Good morning, students. Good morning, morning sir. It's good to see you all this morning again. Yes, sir. All right. Um, as you all know, my name is Mr. Morgan. This is my colleague, Mr. Barrett. Good morning, students. Good morning, morning sir. Mr. Barrett. In last class, we started a new topic, right? And that's housing in Brother Birds. For this morning's class topic, right? We are going to engage in a brainstorming session, right? And um, at the end of this session, right, is where we're going to end up with our topic for this morning's class. All right. So on the board, I have ready with me a scrambled word, right? Um, I'm not sure if any of you guys can recognize the word already. But I want to ask openly, right, if there's anyone in the class that is able to unscramble the word on the board. So I'm going to ask for you guys to raise your hand and I'll indicate and then you guys can answer. Okay? Mr. Simpson, board game, sir. Repeat that. Board game, sir. Can you tell me the letters? And that word, B O O R. So B O O R G I N, sir. D I N G I N, sir. G I N, yes, sir. All right. So that's G I N. Am I right, character? Hold on, hold on. Is there anybody else? Me, sir. This is Henry. Grounding. Grounding. G R O N D I. N D I. N G, sir. N G. Are you confident? Are you confident that the word that you spell is our topic for this morning? Yes, sir. You're confident. Is there anybody else that want to give it a try? Miss Aguna Brown. Brooding. Brooding. And that may go say that, sir. Come, no way you can where you're from. I will go home to you, sir. So no way you can where you're from. Hold on, hold on. It's not your time. You should have given a raise of hand and I would have indicated you. Yeah, so that's B R O O D I N G. Excuse me, sir. Right. Excuse me. I'm sir. This young man is wearing slippers in the class, sir. And so, Mr. Spence. Mr. Spence, sir. Do you really want me to address you for that attire this morning? Sir, because I put the memory to find out and sir, then get the um let me see so then. I thought that we we've already spoken about the dress code from last class. So yes. I'm not expecting this this morning in this class. You know, little sir. Yes, sir. Alright? So I'm not expecting it for next class. Alright? So I'm I'm looking for some improvement in your dress code and your attire. Yes, you know, sir. Schools, right? We'll move on to the lesson. So here we have three words on the board. Okay? Now the correct word for this morning topic is grooming. So I'm gonna give I'm gonna give out a round of applause for everybody that gave a little bit. Yeah, but you have to give a round of applause for any of the rounds. Yeah, something called uh, right. So Miss Brown? At the end of class, you will be given a phone card. Thank you. Are you welcome? Alright class. Yeah, hello. We're going to begin in the essence of time. We're going to begin a lesson. So I'm going to ask you. Is there anybody in this class that have heard about the word brooding before? Yes, sir. Right. Mr. Spence. Let me give my chance. Yes, sir. Can you tell me what you get when you think about the word brood? Sir, like when time. Sir, we're really good, sir. But that's what I'm doing, you be able to do it, sir. Okay? Is there anybody else that wants to give it a try? 
Mr. Simpson, would you like to meet the child? Brody. What do you get from the word Rudy? Sir, we're going to keep you in the meantime while I'm going to sir. Uh, that's not quite the answer that I'm looking for. Alright, but. I was going to answer. My understanding from Rudy is when you put the baby chicks in a special section in the poultry house mm -hmm. and have them stay there for a period of time until they're able to grow and develop in a larger space on their own. Okay, that's a good answer. However, however, your explanation, Miss Henry, right, would be for brooding unit and brooding area, right? But brooding family oh, on its own. Yes, sir, no, no. Right? So if you should understand brooding in natural sense, you can think about another term of Taking care. Okay. That means what's sir? Right? Sir, I'm not like that. Repeat that. I'm not like that, sir. Yes, that is also involved in the brooding process. Okay, things that we do in our brooding, you have to have the lime pond, you have to have water, and feed tree. Right, right. But right. it is nice. Right. So, all of what you guys are saying, right, is involved in the brooding process. Brooding, however, is the period from hatching and the supplemental heat is no longer needed, right, by the baby chicks. So, all of you know that when a new baby is born, yes. they require special care yeah. and special nurturing hands, yeah. right? So, brooding is also in the same sense of taking care of a baby. So, student, are you taking notes? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. Sir. Okay. That's good. Sir, no, like, remember when time your sister, like, made them bad, sir, they didn't put in no one to crib. For you want to like, and keep it warm and nice. Right. That's the same, that the same, the same implementation of the brooding area. So that is correct. This is spent. Right? Um, what we're going to do now is go for further into understanding what the brooder is. Right? So a brooder is an artificial um, and an efficient brooding hen right, for baby chicks. This is used to promote warmth, safety, food and water, but not the gentle education of a mother hen. Right? So, yes, so students, fortunately, a brooder remains effective because chicks quickly learn how to eat and drink without a parent's help. So, um, from everything that I've just said, all the information that I've just given you, I'm expecting, right, that you, all of you students in here, are able to understand what brooding is and what the brooder entails. Yes, sir. For our next topic, we will have my colleague, Mr. Barry, to discuss this topic with you. Okay. Good morning again, students. Good morning. In, con in consideration of what Mr. Morgan has just said, so, I will be asking you students, why is brooding chicks important? Um, Do you have anything to say, Ms. Brown? No, sir. No, sir? Well, uh, in this class, I don't really tolerate no, sir. You have to keep that child, and I don't, I don't give you wrong or right. So, if you're wrong, I will just accept your answer and move on and give you the right answer. So I want to clear the chat from you, Ms. Brown. Alright, so you ask what would be the challenge? Why is food important? Alright, I believe that food is important because <laughs> Okay. 
has concluded, concluded things after touching of the tree to four weeks of age. Alright, do you say that in your notebook? Yes, sir. I will repeat. It is done like the elf of food and end after passing of the tree to four weeks of age. Now, artificial building. A large number of baby chicks are aware in an absence of food and end. So, now, I would like to move on with some more comments. So students, wasn't this a wonderful topic? Yes, sir. I hope you guys learned a lot from this lesson, right? And um, I have a short assignment, right, that I want to give. But I'll, before that, I'll show you guys two pictures, right? And I want you to tell me which one you think is artificial brooding and natural brooding. So I'll walk around the pictures and let you have a look. A is natural brooding and B artificial brooding. Alright. Looks like the females are booming today. Males? Yes sir. A is natural brooding where the, the, the hen sits on these chicks and that's the ball for a bee, sir. That's the not, that is the artificial brooding. Alright, are you sure it's because you, it's not because we heard a female say? Or are you confident? No, sir, that's why I give you a little explanation, sir. So I'll do what I'm saying. Alright, very well, students. So, based upon the answer that you have given, it is clear that you guys have a good understanding of the topic. So, in this diagram, right, you can see where the mother hen, right, is given the comfort to their baby chicks. Right? And in the second um, image, you can see where the light, right, and um, the brooding structure is there to supply that nurturing habit that the chicks need. Right? I have with me a small assignment for our next class. So I want you guys to go home and conduct a research on the materials needed to construct an optimum artificial brooding. So my next class, I would have you guys present these information to me. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and we'll see you next class. Thank you. Thank you.